It's like, yeah, that's right. My dog has dreads. You know, fuck it. Let's make today's vlog about Cooley dreads and the story about Ziggy. Yeah, this is Ziggy. Um, this story starts with Ziggy, this guy. He's a Hungarian Puli. He's a rescue from the Commodore and Puli rescue in uh, Budapest. And it was probably about three years ago when my ex and I decided we should get a Puli. And them being very rare around here in Canada, we knew we wanted to rescue one. So we found a rescue on Facebook, uh, kept an eye out. And eventually this guy was posted. Someone left him in the backyard. When they left their house, they moved. And they left him there with all the garbage. So we actually had him shipped from Budapest to Canada. So the thing is, it's cold out. It's winter. So I gotta stay warm while vlogging outside. But when we decided we want to get a pulley, uh, we basically had to keep our, our eyes open for the next one kind of available that was being rescued. So um, Ziggy came up. We had to talk to translators, taxi drivers, vets, and also foster parents to take care of him in between transitioning from being homeless to his new home here in Canada. So, um, that was quite the ordeal, having to pay people from here over in Budapest to help out with all this kind of stuff. But you know, eventually it did get through, and he was shipped successfully and arrived in Canada um, on time. was when he arrived we noticed that he was very lethargic and breathing heavily for no reason so we noticed this probably a day or two after he got here and we figured you know we better go get him checked out again even though they they checked him before they shipped him over the vet and it turns out that the little guy had heartworm the whole time they missed it on the scan at the, at the vets in Budapest and um, the way that his heart was so enlarged the airplane ride here was actually like supposed to kill him Because of the altitude and his heart sh pressure Shouldn't have survived the, the flight, but he did And then we got him on heartworm medication for six months, which was a whole nother story You see when a dog gets heartworm It's infected from a mosquito that bites it carrying the virus the the it's a worm that actually like hatches inside the bloodstream travels its way into the heart and these worms actually take over the heart making the heart become very enlarged not pumping oxygen through the body properly um, and it's really shitty and when the dog is on medication for it that starts to kill off the worms it's very important that the dog does not exercise for you know three six months almost because if it gets the heart pumping too much on the medication the heart could still fail so having a pulley he's very energetic and he wants to play fetch every day all day every day it was actually kind of hard to not play with him for six months to ensure that his heart healed properly but Ziggy's alive now hey Zig hey buddy hey boy how's your heart Good, eh? I mean, and obviously, um, I decided to get a pulley because of his hair matches his owner's, right? It's like those uh, commercials or those sayings that the dog really looks like their owner. What do you think, Zig? 
rough. Go on, go. The thing about pulleys is that they're small for one, medium size, medium small. Where did he go? Oh, and um, they're they're herding dogs actually. Um, they're used to control herds of sheep, cattle, and what this does is um, so they're they're great for farm work. Um, a lot of people use them in dog shows they're great on the agility course and fantastic guard dogs because they are very protective and very yappy so and they become very attached to, the, to their owners as well they're very one-on-one -on -one animals they really they really choose their owner and they stick to them by their side like loyal 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 so he'll be very protective over me if anyone was to come in the house or something um, yeah and he's got dreads that's the coolest part his hair mats naturally uh, a lot of people ask me how do I do that to his hair and honestly it just does it on its own I have to keep it separated because it happens so much you know it's actually kind of crazy this is my elementary school that I went to from grade one until grade five this is probably about from five years old to nine or ten or so was right here i grew up right here in that school that's where i became so smart <laughs> another another cool thing to know about pulleys is that they're prey driven meaning uh some dogs might be driven more for food um you know some dogs more for toys but ziggy's more prey driven which is why he's more toy driven because I notice he loves to chase toys and balls, which is almost like him chasing some prey. Um, so he loves to play fetch. Uh, he loves to catch. Um, yeah, and for treats, he doesn't really give a shit. He's like, okay, I'll take it, but I don't really want it. And uh, with him being prey driven, it's kind of hard to get him to get along with cats because he wants to chase them, but he does a pretty good job. He'll listen to me when I say don't chase. In terms of having a pulley, it's very, whoa, hello? There's an echo down here now. Um, yeah, in terms of having a pulley, he's very, very energetic. Um, a lot, he's actually a top dog. He always wants to be the top dog in the pack. Showing his dominance and whatever he kind of does. Uh, I'm going to show you guys just a quick list here of uh, some characteristics of the Puli. Referred to as top dog or Hungarian dog. He's a national, national treasure of Hungary. Uh, he is a helper of shepherds, herders and nomad introduced by Magyars in the 9th century. Um, and males get between 15 and 18 inches, females up to 16 inches. Uh, between 22 and 33 pounds and Ziggy is around 35 pounds right now Lifespan being about 12 to 14 years and Ziggy right now is about nine um, Their coat color is usually black fawn gray or white My favorite is the fawn where it has all the shades of it and their looks uh, they look like a thread mop that's what it says here. That's what they come down to. This is why they're so popular on social media is because they look like mops. Um, they have a thick, dense double coat, well muscled and sturdy. Uh, and the tail is medium length and actually kind of curly like a pig's tail. 
um, like I was saying before, these guys are awesome athletes. Uh, they're cheerful and lighthearted, independent thinkers. They definitely, Ziggy just does what he wants. He'll listen to your command and then he'll think about it if he wants to do it or not before he actually does something. Um, he's often called a one-man dog. As I was saying before, he's very uh, in tune with the owner. He just wants to be by the owner the whole time. Uh, they make good guard dogs. They're energetic and active for the care of their dreads, their cords, as they, they call them. Um, it's regularly it's regularly recommended that you're always separating the dreads of the pulley to make sure they don't clump together on them because then it can get um, uncomfortable. And they have a high prey drive, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, training pulleys, um, they're slightly difficult to train, but they're very intelligent. And this is probably why they're, they're pretty hard to train because they're so smart and what they choose to listen to and not from the owners. Um, they have a really high memory as well. So like if you do something to offend the pulley or upset him, like they're gonna remember you and not like you in the future. It's kind of crazy. Um, they're not really that mouthy, but they can be in, in environments where they wanna be dominant. High prey drive, high barking, uh, and wonderlust, wonderlust potential is very high. I'm not sure what that really means. Uh, favorable foods for the pulley: rice, carrots, bananas, lettuce, pumpkin, spinach, cantaloupe. Must avoid items: yeast, dough, alcoholic drinks, salt, and salty foods, poultry bones, tomato in any form, chives, garlic, or onions. Hmm. Um. Major concerns for the pulley is hip dysplasia, progressive retinal atrophy, and allergies. Their eyes are very susceptible to be getting uh, infections, and so are their ears as well. Minor concerns, cataracts, diabetes, degenerative, uh, whatever that is. And the price of pulleys average between $1,000 and $1,200. Um, and breeders, you should never buy from a breeder. Fuck breeders. Breeders are the worst. Uh, thing you can do for a dog is put money towards a breeder because it just doesn't make sense to be exploiting animals to create a profit. We rescued Ziggy because there's a ton of dogs out there that already need a home. So why pay somebody for a cute little puppy when you can put your money to a rescue that's actually doing some good? Yeah. So anyways, <clears throat> uh, just a, a quick little vlog on having a pulley, Hungarian pulley, um, Ziggy. You guys have seen him on his channel a bunch of times. He's a great dog, quite the personality. And you can definitely come back here and check out for more updates on Ziggy in the future. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. And uh, I'm going to let you guys go for now. But until next time, peace out. One love. Stay happy and natty. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios. Madder than, madder than, sicker than them. Madder than, madder than, sicker than them. Dreader than dread, dreader than dread. Let me look at me tell them, say, yo, yo, say what?